What's going on, everybody? It's me, Steve Fall for Tank Out. I'm here with Zelina Vega. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I've Every time I go to one of these press junkets, WrestleMania in Puerto Rico, I always want to say something to you, but I never got a chance to. <laughs> During the pandemic, you held down the fort of all those shows that you were on. Right. I know, that's right. I mean, listen, I don't really get enough credit for that, so I'm glad you said that. Of course. <laughs> you, de- you deserve it. Now, the LWO is just taking over. Do you feel like that was kind of like a kickstart? You had a great career so far, but this is like you're on TV every single week. Yeah, it's weird. I honestly had no idea this was going to go this way. And, I mean, I never really saw myself as a good guy either. I mean, me and Ray had had some interesting history, but he's really forgiving. So there's that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's, it's beyond anything that I expected, and I'm so, so happy and grateful to be a part of it now like it's it's taking over a life of its own and we had no idea that it was going to be this at this time and yeah it's wild man you and Rhea Ripley though how emotional was that in Puerto Rico I was there live in the audience and people were just falling around everyone everyone's crying how were you feeling because I saw you crying too I was trying so hard not to cry though because I'm so not a crier I hate crying but like that experience was just unlike anything I ever expected or I mean, my God, having my family there, my friends that I haven't seen in a while, it was incredible. There's no words. I still haven't really woken up from that moment, so there's that. But it's, um, my God, it's it, that was my WrestleMania, for sure, for sure. Now, you are inspiring so many people out there with your cosplaying. It's amazing. Now, what makes you want to do this? Because everyone's connecting to you in a more of a different way than just being a professional wrestler in the WWE. Yeah, well, so, I mean, when I was a kid, I was so mad that I couldn't be, like, Scary Spice every day or I couldn't be, you know, um, Bubbles or Harley Quinn every day. But then I got into cosplay and I realized, I was like, oh, that's how this works. So it's uh, it just it's something that you can become that person and kind of connect to people and say, listen, like, it's okay that you, like, Street Fighter. It's okay that you like, you know, uh, because Vega, obviously, that's where my last name came from. But, you know, it's okay to to be that person. And, and, you know, I'm here to represent you guys because, like, you know, we love the weebs. We love the nerds and uh, the gamers. So we're out here. I love it so much. Thank you so much. And good luck on Money in the Bank. Thank you so much. Thank you.